Hello again, it's Joey John Maguire. I'm in an old haunt of mine, Weatherspoon's haunt, the Willow Walk, or the Willow Tree, I'm not quite sure. I'm about to recite the second of two poems written in the early hours of this morning. Um, must excuse me for the uh, distractions of the noise, but uh, there's uh, renovations going on all around the pub, scaffolding and everything outside. Um, but never mind, I always like a challenge. And this poem is called About the Russian, and it's about the planned... Um, it's not a refurbishment, it's, uh, it's about the planned new... Uh, stadium at Chelsea Football Club. Anyway, it's called About the Russian. He sits solemn and sullen, like a czar heading his empire, some say built on ill-gotten gains. Maybe that's why he has a haunted look. He bats not an eyelid, apparently feels no embarrassment, no outward signs of insomnia, nor deep heart-wrenching regrets. He runs roughshod over the community whilst claiming to represent their interests, all his efforts pertaining to himself as he feathers his already bulgy nest. He sees no harm in his regular incursions into the privacy of others, expresses no sympathy towards their feelings as they are forced to live life adhering to his calendar. His massive ego and the trip it's on leave no room for compassion. He is a monster with a tight, tight grip on the dice held in his hand. A Russian import and imposter, he claims one thing whilst thinking and doing another. The frail and needy rightly have cause for concern as this man's action, actions prove he is no friend. With no thoughts to the impact of his future plans, like most despots he puts two fingers up to his responsibilities, for he will not be satisfied until, until he has everything he wants. This man, emotionally bankrupt, is still a child. Reason counts for nothing. Appeasement simply music to his ears. A sign of weakness, and he didn't get where he is today on wing of prayer. As for the destitute and homeless, for some the gutter beckons once again, shattering the fragile cocoon they wrongly thought they'd found. Too ill, too old, too poor. They have neither the strength nor will to fight, and they will disappear, fade or die without mention in the annals of history. But for this poem, written by the poet Maguire, who is proud to be an honest victim, yet sad the soul of the Russian should choose to live a lie. And uh, I live next to Chelsea Football Ground, and I'm going to have to suffer uh, the next four years with noise much worse than the noise I've uh, in the background as I read to you there. Um, this man is going three stories down, putting the pitch three stories down. He's knocking the whole stadium down. And uh, there's going to be at least 200 lorries a day in and out for the next four years. It's uh, absolutely disgraceful. And it looks like I'm going to have to move out my home, which I thought was where I would be till the day I died. It's absolutely dreadful that one man with money can do such a thing to so many people. But there you go. Hammersmith Council have given them plan and permission and it's down to Sadiq Khan and the supporters who actually own the pitch. So uh, let's uh, pray for a miracle, eh? This man is dangerous and uh, he's got an ego bigger than his stadium. Joey John McGuire.